Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do right now is I need for you to go to the refrigerator and make a hummus wrap for me. Yeah, I got my hummus wrap. Oh, yeah. Uh, garden tomatoes. <laughs> Well, you don't have make yourself a hummus wrap. I already got one, so never mind that. So go ahead and give me all your good energy. Well, you can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You could just do all those beautiful, magical mother trucking things that you do to me so well here at Teddy Stair. So I'm gonna slap down the holy water. So. Welcome back to another episode of As the Fish Swims. These are the tales of your fins. <laughs> I'm wild. <laughs> you know what time it is, baby. Tarot is now in session. The most honorable Judge T.T. T. Dong presiding. You may all be seated. Oh, Pisces. Guess what I got? Yep, I did. I was going to rent it, and it was like $3 to rent. So, in order to, I, so I was like, I'm not going to pay $3 to rent it when I can buy it for 5 and I can watch it over and over again. Oh, I'm, it's not even unwrapped yet. So, I'm going to take my friend out for dinner, and then uh, I'm going to come back after dinner and watch me some Urban Cowboy and go to sleep. <laughs> and then get up tomorrow morning and go to work. So, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with, or whatever energy might be coming towards you. It might be your own energy. Whatever the case is, we're going to get it, we're going to hit it, and we're going to put that shit together. Show! Oh, okay. All right, I don't know the floodgates. It's not like the last reading, or... I shuffled for hours. It felt like I got hurt. It was horrible. It was painful. Okay, what's going on here? What's going on here? Okay. Okay. Strength card down here on the table. The King of Swords. We've got the Knight of Cups. The overall energy for the reading is the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody's not trying to rock the boat here too much. Okay, they're like just doing good to... This person's just doing good to stay balanced, okay? Even though this person's got a lot of things they're dealing with, they're just trying to keep balanced, okay? We have the strength card down here on the table. Okay, the strength card represents what? Determination, having the strength or the cojones or the balls to do something in a situation, okay? Or just to stand a ground here, okay? We've got the king of swords down here on the table. King of Swords, he's very analytical. He is, uh, you know, he's the king of war. He's the executioner. So he's got to be very strategic. He's got to go through all the facts. So, you know, because it's like if he's out there fighting a battle, he's got to make sure that he knows the moves so that he can put his troops where they need to be because the last thing you want to do is lose all your, your army, okay? So he's very, very smart, okay? Not a cups down here on the table. This is a love offer here that's capable of sweeping you off of your feet, okay? That's what's coming through here. Okay, okay, all right. So, mm, so ooh, what are we going to clarify first, Pisces? I think I'm going to clarify this hummus wrap real quick. <laughs> Can't help it. It's staring at me. Mm, mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. I don't mean to crunch in your ear. Okay. So, mm -mm. let's just talk to the strength card. What's this person needing the strength to do here? Go on a new adventure. <clears throat> and what's this new adventure about? <coughs> what's this new adventure about? Something that they've always been wanting. <coughs> Excuse me. 
So what has this person always been wanting with the Nine of Cups? Wanting you. Hmm. Aww. So, this is a... This person, like, wants to go on a new adventure here. Because they've always wanted you. Oh, that's beautiful energy. That's sweet. This person that you're dealing with seems real sweet. Mm-hmm. I like that. So why is the Knight of Cups down here on the table in Pisces person's energy? <coughs> why is the Knight of Cups here? Okay. So they think they got this one in the bag. Mm-hmm. They're like, you know what? I got this in the bag. I got a love offer. I know that it's going to sweep Pisces off of Pisces' feet. And Pisces is going to go for this. Okay. Oh, boy, Pisces. So let's go one more on the Six of Swords with the Knight of Cups. Under this love offer. Oh, boy. Oh, you're going to go for that. Oh, boy, you're going to go for that. You are definitely good. If you don't go for this, Pisces, send this person my way, okay? And I will take this person for you. <laughs> Out of the court. You're not going to be stealing Pisces people away from them. Oh, my God. I was just joking. Good Lord. She is such a leather lunch. So this person feels very much empowered. This person feels very very empowered here with this love offer. Why is this person feeling so empowered with this love offer? Mm. Ooh la la bonsoir. Why is this person feeling so empowered with this love offer, please? Why are they feeling so empowered with this love offer? Yeah. Because they're taking the high road. This is the high road. This is like, not the highway to hell, but this is like, I want to, like, what's it? Highway to the Danger zone. Yeah, they feel empowered. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting that song. That's the weirdest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, good lord. Yep. It's just power on top of power. This person has got a love offer here. That's gonna. It's gonna take you. It's gonna sweep you off your feet. Somebody's really trying for you, Pisces. Here. Somebody's definitely into you. So, what's the King of Swords here? What does this person want to deliver to Pisces with the King of Swords? Yep, Pisces. Somebody's like, <laughs> let's do this. Let's do this. The Fool card with the King of Swords. Do you want to start something new here, Pisces? I'm ready. I'm feeling empowered. I'm coming in here with my guns blazing here. Okay, Merle Haggard, right? El Paso. <laughs> yep, coming in here. This person's ready to take a gun out of somebody else's holster and shoot another person with their own gun here, if that's what they got to do at the end of the day. I'm just getting power. I feel it power. I'm like, I feel empowered. I'm singing, what is it? Highway to the danger zone. Go right into the... Danger Zone! Oh, God. I don't even like that song. I would never even buy that song or listen to it. <laughs> it's in my head now. Okay, King of Swords with the Fool. Let's go one more here. King of Swords with the Fool. Yep. There you are, Pisces. Somebody wants you. Pisces, somebody wants you. And this person is crystal clear that they're going to be able to give you what you need, Pisces. This person's going to nurture you here, Pisces. This person's going to, this person's going to, I'm, somebody is so sweet. I'm getting just the sweetest, sweetest. They got some sweet feels here for you, Pisces. So, okay. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to grab uh, the final messages and then we'll do one card for each sign. So, Pisces dealing with Pisces. How does Pisces feel about Pisces? Pisces, or Pisces, Jesus, what am I talking about? <laughs> backwards, that's backwards. What else do you want to tell Pisces before we close off this reading? <laughs> okay, what else do you want to tell Pisces? Yeah, there is some communication, okay? This person could literally be spying on you. This is a past life soulmate connection, and this person is making some kind of big decision here, okay, about you. All right, now we're going to do the meow meows. Meow, meow, meow. And we're going to do one card for each sign. So Pisces dealing with Pisces. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Um, okay. 
it seems like they want this, uh, they want this to move a little bit faster. Okay. Cancer dealing with Pisces. Oh, I love birthday suit tarot. It's great. I'm not having no clothes on. Okay, I'll tell you what. Cancer is climbing the walls and they're obsessed about you. They're climbing the walls, going crazy, and they're super obsessed. They can't let you go. Uh, Scorp. Scorp. Okay, Scorp. This is, Scorp's got the, it's new love feels for you. Uh, Aries. Aries wants to go scratch your post. <laughs> no, they're ready. They're like excited about doing something with you here, okay? Mm, Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo wants you. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Um, they feel like you're very controlling and you're hard to talk to. Oh, my God. Libra. Libra, 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 Libra. Okay, they're exhausted. This situation's got them exhausted. Uh, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini is in love with you. Aquarius. Aquarius feels like they messed this one up. Uh, Virgo. Virgo <coughs> is in their head um, about this whole situation. And you guys probably more than likely are not talking. Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Okay, they feel a strong soulmate connection to you here. Uh, Cappy, how do you feel about Pisces? Cappy, 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 Cappy. Cappy thinks you are beautiful and you have a nice chest. <laughs> Tarot's adjourned.